Hello guys, welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my spring cleaning 2023. The first place we are gonna start today is in my laundry room. I feel like this is one of our most used spaces. I really wanna take this cushion off because I know it gets really dirty underneath there and clean it. Then I wanna also shampoo that cushion. And then I noticed like in between here, it is getting so bad. There's like socks, there's dust, there's lint. So I need to pull these out. I may even clean like the inside. When I say may, I will, cause look like my laundry softener is getting stuck in there. So they're not too bad, but I'm gonna get some cleaning in those, around those, and then over here as well. It's right when it's wrong. I've stayed here too long, but something brings me back to you. I swear we belong. I'm here is what it looks like. So it's mainly dirty, like, back here where stuff falls right here it's covered pretty well so i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that off maybe inside some of these because sometimes it gets dirty and then i'll shampoo the cushion but something brings me back to you 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 see something really funny definitely hang out until the end of today's video if you follow me over on Instagram you may already know what happened but if you didn't trust me it is worth the wait I'm gonna mention this again later on in today's video but if you want to know any of the products that I'm using like the brand or why I like it or compare it to something else. I have a whole Amazon video where I talk about all my cleaning gadgets, why I love it, I compare it to the other brands. So definitely be sure and check that out if you're needing a video like that. if you have pets or kids this is just a really good cleaning tool to have um, it's just nice because you can like spot clean rugs or you can work on cushions it's really good for items you can't put in the washer so even like um, my computer chair like the desk chair I feel like I can clean really well or any upholstered chairs maybe dining chairs and then I love it for this bench here so just keep that in mind if you need to clean an area like that I wanted to show you that the only area I've cleaned is this bench that honestly we rarely set on, <laughs> maybe to put shoes on to leave the house. Now I do set bags on here, like stuff that's coming and going in our purses and stuff, but like look how dirty that water is from that one area. So it starts off clear like this, you can see it. 
that's how dirty that was. That's crazy just for like this small little area. I'm gonna let that dry now and move over on to this side. Now I will say I did not put the little handheld shampooer away because I'm sure I'm gonna be using it here in a little bit. Now if you wanted to use that machine and go through your house and get all the areas that you need to clean, you can do it that way. I kind of like going room by room so I feel like I'm getting stuff done and I'm not just randomly cleaning, but do what works best for you. But I'm gonna stay in this room and move these out because I've been dying to clean behind here. It's a tight squeeze, but I wanted to show you just how dirty it gets behind like your washer and dryer. So I'm definitely gonna do the best I can without having to like unplug everything. Just taking like a vacuum and different things to like clean out back there. Another area that you must clean is inside your dryer vent, like where the lint comes out, and I have a really cool tool for that. I actually don't show it in this video, I show it in that Amazon video that I talked about earlier, and I show it in my last year's um, spring cleaning with me, and in that video I was cleaning different spaces. Some of them might be the same, but some of them are different, so if you're needing more motivation after this, be sure to check out that video. It is all nice and cleaned out behind there now. Really wasn't too bad, I should really do that more often, but at least I do it during spring cleaning. I'm so glad to have that sock on, especially since we're gonna be showing our house soon. I just wanted to get all that nice and clean. Um, next thing I wanna work on is just our washer, just so you know these pop out, Let's see, just like that, so you can actually clean them a little easier if you need to do that. It just takes a few minutes and it just kind of keeps the life of your appliances longer like you're gonna like it better it's gonna work better it's gonna function better just taking a rag and some water 
and wiping this out it looks brand new again um i don't do it near as often as i should so that's kind of like what i focus on during spring cleaning it's areas i don't think of to clean or i don't want to clean often um, i love to clean my home but there's areas i just don't enjoy doing and so i save those for spring cleaning so i can get them all done you can do it over a weekend, you can do it over an entire month, you can do it one weekend, one day, whatever works best for your schedule. But I like to just knock it all out before it gets too warm. Once it's pretty outside, I like to um, be outside enjoying it. So I always do my spring cleaning just a little bit early. I think I actually, yep, have laundry in here. But another thing I like to clean out is this, just so it'll function well. Um, and I'll show you how I do that next. It's really good to wash your lint catchers out a couple times a year. You should probably do it more often, but you definitely do it spring cleaning if you haven't done it. Just take some dish soap. You can spray it. If you want to just put it on your brush, if it's just like the normal type of um, soap, you can do that too. But make sure to just scrub it on both sides, rinse it really well, and then put it out in the sun to dry. And we actually have a beautiful day here. <laughs> so this is why I'm going to get this done. And your dryer is going to function so much better and last so much longer. It hand dries pretty quickly, but before I stick it back in my dryer, especially if I'm going to be using it, I like to just throw it out in the sun and I'll flip it. Literally only takes a few minutes and then I know it's good to go for a while. Another area that needed a good deep clean was where my dogs eat. So I have their bowls like elevated, but they still just get so much food on the ground and I feel like dust and dirt gets underneath them. Um, I feel like stuff gets on the wall. So I really should clean these more often, but I feel like it's just so much work to like move the bowls and clean it. So I always find something else that needs to get done. So since I was spring cleaning, I went ahead and decided to do it. And that's kind of my key. And you're probably gonna hear me say this a lot. During spring cleaning, I try to clean all the areas that I typically don't want to. Hey, what's your secret? You got the kind of that leaves when speechless. It could be model multitasking genius. Yeah, you got it all. Hey, what's your story? It can't cast mom in 40 under 40. A soccer practice in your high heel glory. Yeah, you do it all. Hey, but the cup won't you listen? Oh. I'm a woman. Virgin. You rule the world but make it look like nothing Such a boss Hey, true or false It take about 20 men to do your job A kingdom never fails when there's a queen in charge Girl, don't stop Hey, but the cup won't you listen up? I'm a woman now say you don't wanna move your washer and dryer, either you don't want to, you can't. I feel like this tool is amazing. Mine's already super dirty, I've had it a few years. 
I'm gonna show you how to use it underneath my stove and refrigerator because those are things I do not wanna move right now. And I will link all the stuff I'm using today down below in my description box. But if you wanna hear like more reviews about it and how I use it and why I bought it, um, I'm gonna link a video for you down below in my description box and I talk about all my favorite like Amazon um, cleaning gadgets, especially if you're getting your house <laughs> ready for spring cleaning. So be sure to check that out after watching today's video. Every time I pull this thing out and I clean underneath my refrigerator and stove, I always find glass. <laughs> I think it because we break stuff throughout the year. This could have been from last year. If you go back and watch my spring cleaning video from last year, um, I had broke something like it had fallen and I think Savannah had and I had just bought this and I like did one swipe under there and like I felt like a whole dish. <laughs> the shattered came out um so this is really cool like i said and you can slide this off and wash it i need to do that soon um but it's so thin and then this extends so long you can get like all the way to the back wall so you don't even have to move your appliances out and you can get everything that's underneath there why we spring clean <laughs> there is so much coming out from underneath those two spaces that i wouldn't have guessed that would have been under there there was actually glass under this one too plus right here where like my fridge vent is it was full of like dust and stuff so now it's gonna even like run better so it helps your appliances even work better and last longer so that's why we spring clean glowy if you can tell <laughs> it's getting a little hot we actually have a beautiful day today it's 69 right now i think the high is 72 so this is a really good day to get your windows clean if you have a really pretty day that you don't mind windows being open even if it's just for a second that's the day to work on windows i show how i clean my windows every year in my spring cleaning video i'm gonna do it again because i always feel like i have new viewers watching and there's such a nice little trick to it and next year we're gonna be in our new house and we're not gonna have these same type of windows. So I wanna show you one last time. I'll probably try to remember to save this clip just so I can post it next year for all the newbies. But let's clean these windows. If you're new here, you're thinking, Ashley, you just clean the window like normal. There was nothing special. So no, when you're cleaning the inside of the window, totally normal. What's hard to do is it's hard to clean the outside because there's a screen on the outside. So it's hard to actually wipe the glass down because it's in between like the inside of your home and the screen. So that's where I'm gonna show you the tip. Basically, you're gonna unlock your window right here. And then there's two of these little buttons right here, like levers and you're gonna push them in towards each other at the same time and pull back. And your window's gonna lean towards you, so I'm gonna show you how to do this, but then you can actually clean that side of the glass. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so it's unlocked. I'm gonna lift up a little bit and then I'm gonna push in on these and pull towards me and it's going to come out. 
That way I can heat it. The screen's on that side. Now I can spray and clean this side of the window. So I'm curious how many of you knew your window opened up like that. And I shouldn't say everybody, but most windows do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side. I'm not gonna show you cleaning every window in my house cause that would take away too long. But just know with spring cleaning, I go through and clean every window in the house. <laughs> Another window I'm gonna clean is above my bathtub. I think I've cleaned this thing maybe twice the entire time we lived here, and it's probably been on camera. I've never just like done it without thinking or planning it in a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one wiped down. So add that cleaning your windows alone is enough to do for one day like I know you watch a lot of us like influencers and cleaning channels and yes I do a lot of cleaning in one day but it's also my job <laughs> and I have help Chase is helping with Savannah so if you have kids or you work out of the home just remember just take baby steps it can seem overwhelming I even felt like overwhelmed starting cleaning today I'm like I have a lot of deep cleaning to get done I know it's gonna be a lot of work plus I have to film while I'm doing it um, so just keep that in mind it doesn't have to happen in like three hours you can space it out throughout the month you can space it out through the entire year just like write one thing done that you want to get done every day and just start taking those baby steps but like I said windows are a lot of work so if you can just do that in like one weekend feel accomplished because that's a lot of work to get done up next I was gonna dust all my like lights and ceiling fans but I'm like the worst duster in the world like I just never do it I'll vacuum three times a day I never think to dust, especially like dry dust. Um, so when I take my daughter to dance, I'm actually gonna swing by like a Dollar General and pick up a duster and then we'll dust together. But until we leave, I'm gonna go ahead and carry on. And I feel like spring cleaning is a good time to like deep clean your carpets or your rugs or anything like that. So I'm gonna pull out my shampooer and we're gonna get to work on some of those areas. If you do not own a shampooer yet, I feel like it's a really good investment, especially if you have like rugs or carpet or anything like that, um, just because you can clean up those areas very easily. I will say just do your research and find um, the shampooer you're needing for like what fits your needs best. Um, once again, I'm going to address that video where I review um, all of my Amazon cleaning products. I review several different kinds of shampooers so you can make sure and get the one you need, but it is so helpful. This one I would say is comparable to like um, almost like an industrial nice one. Like it's super heavy duty. You're going to be able to clean a ton of spaces with it. So I love it. But I also have a smaller one that's like lightweight if I'm just doing a rug or one bedroom, but both are super helpful and I use them throughout the entire year.
I wanted to show you a before and after. So once again, this is how the water started and this is how dirty it is just from doing that one space. And honestly, it's only me in that space. It's not like it gets used a ton. So if you haven't shampooed your carpets, now it's not something I wanna do all the time. I don't wanna shampoo my carpets all the time, but at least once or twice a year or if they need to, like say there was an accident or a spill or something like that. But once a year, it's just nice to like get them fresh. This space is actually my guest bedroom and I had cleaned it quite a bit because we had family coming into town and then um, Savannah, my daughter, actually got sick so they stay with my mom so it's actually clean and ready to go but since I had the shampooer out I thought I might as well give the carpets clean um, and I don't like shampooing a ton but I do like to do it just once a year to make sure it's nice and fresh and clean plus if you guys have been following us we're going to be putting our house up for sale soon so I'm just trying to make sure everything is spotless and just feels new for the new people that will be buying it. If we put this to sleep and just never repeat, we will happily walk out the door. Come on. Break it up now, break it up, honey. The satisfaction in you don't seem to be fine. Feeling crazy now, I'm really crazy now. But you and Okay guys, it is later and I finally have a duster. I don't know how I've gone this long without one. What I like is that it's like super adjustable and it like bends. So if I need to get in different places. So I'm gonna go around and work on my lights. It's been a while. It's probably been since the last time I did spring cleaning. So let's go dust these lights. I may even hit any of like the trim, like not like crown molding, but like the trim around our doors and windows. I'll hit that too. This is just a friendly reminder when you have the right tools and gadgets to clean it really does make life so much easier like if I was carrying around like a ladder with a rag and trying to clean all of these spaces and getting up high it is so much more work but I got this duster I ran to like home goods um because I was right by there this evening and it was $7.99 so for under 10 bucks it made life so much easier another area to remember to clean are your vents and you can even change out your air filters we do that often so it's not just a once a year thing but if for some reason you haven't switched yours out this is a good time to do it um, dust it while you're up there and this is another good time to replace your um, batteries and your smoke detector so if you haven't done that this year definitely do that while you're working on everything else
this for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been Fans are another great thing to clean and I also cleaned like my curtain rod in the guest bedroom. I don't know if you saw that. Um, you can also switch the directions your fan goes. I talked about this in like a home hacks video, but like in the summer they need to go one direction and then the winter they need to spin the other and there's just like a little switch on it. So be sure to check out your fan as well. I'm gonna leave it all behind, find myself, I'm gonna start with a new starting to get dark outside, but we are getting stuff done. I went ahead and vacuumed. I know that's not like spring cleaning, but since I had done all that like dusting in here, I felt like there was a lot of stuff on the ground. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors. Typically I do the quick like vacuum and mop together, but when I'm wanting a deeper clean or I'm wanting to be able to get in corners, I really like this guy. So I'm gonna fill it up, add some Tide detergent, like powder detergent and work on the floors. If you have a tile floors like me, you can be super careful, but you can add a little bleach to the water so it'll help it disinfect your floors as well. I feel like it smells so good too. You know, your floors are getting a good deep clean, but you have to be super careful if you're cleaning next to any like fabric. So like curtains, ottomans, sofas, stay away from those areas, but you can clean like the nice big spaces and you can go next to those areas. Just don't touch it. Um, but it's a good way to do a deep clean. I don't think you should do that all the time, but if you wanna do it a few times throughout the year, or if there's been like an accident from a pet or something or a child, that's just a good way to get it clean and disinfected. Here is how the house is looking. I had worked all day, so I was exhausted. I was tired, but it felt so good to have a clean house. But I promised you something funny at the end of today's video, so I promise you it's coming up after I show you all these beautiful clips of my home and how clean it was. Wishing you'd only be more like them. Over and over, you cry yourself to so like I said I was super tired I was trying to finish up this video so I was walking on the floors that I had just mopped and if you watch right here I go down don't worry my hip caught myself um, I was a little sore that night and the next day but I took some medicine and went to bed but the show must go on I went ahead and finished my clip but I hope you guys found that funny it was probably funnier in real life I wish my camera wouldn't have been so close I wish I would have had it like further back so you guys could have seen it but thank you guys so much for watching good luck with your spring cleaning like i said before take baby steps don't feel like you have to get it all done at once but just slowly work on it and it's going to make you feel so much better um if you enjoyed today's video definitely give it a thumbs up share it and i will see you guys in the next one bye